We're going to move on to our final category, consumer healthcare, and our final three businesses. Um, our first uh, in the category is um, is the is business Playbrush, which was uh, founded by Paul Varga. Uh, it's gamifying the toothbrush, trying to improve the oral hygiene of kids. Tell us more. Please do welcome Paul. Thank you very much. One second. I'm afraid the seconds are ticking. Yeah, that's fine. My name is Paul Varga, and I started a company called Playbrush. And with Playbrush, we help kids with the daily tooth brushing by turning it into a fun game. So why are we doing this? Tooth decay is still the single most reason in the UK, while children between five and nine are admitted to hospital. Families have a lot of frightening and painful dentist appointments and very high treatment costs. That's why we came up with Playbrush. Playbrush is this device, very small, which, att which attaches to any toothbrush and makes it a game controller. So while kids brush their teeth, they can control mobile games on their parents' phone or tablet, and that's how they learn to brush properly. So basically, while you brush, you control these characters, and that's how, how you learn to brush properly. So, and that also makes you brush everywhere in the mouth. So, we were inspired by my little godchild, who like most kids is not particularly keen on brushing, and was therefore not brushing regularly, long enough and accurately, which caused a lot of annoying discussions with his mother and his father every evening and every morning. Since he's brushing with Playbrush, he loves it. He's brushing twice a day for two minutes, and he's even coming to his mom and asks whether he can brush his teeth. That's brilliant. <laughs> so, apart from getting him to the bathroom, what have we achieved so far? We have sold a couple of thousand devices, and signed our first big retail contract with a German retailer. Our technology is patented. Um, we won a lot of international awards and global media coverage. We have developed a device with the Eastman Dental Institute and University Clinic Vienna. And we raised a successful Kickstarter and a successful seed round. So what's coming next is basically very simple. We're trying to scale the company and build a platform out of different games so that kids keep engaged and the process process of brushing remains fun for them. So we are looking for big brands and help with licensing to even push a brand out there more. And we're looking for distribution partners who help us with retail in the United Kingdom to get our product out there quicker and faster. So if you want to change the future of toothbrushing and help all your kids, you are welcome to find me afterwards. Thank you very well much. Done. Great pitch, great pitch. I'll just that. Um, oh. Oh. So, I have to say, we, we might want to judge his decision because this little game was actually sort of telling us how much time you had left. So you had two clocks. Anyway, there we go. Right. T just tell us, a, t where did the big bang, where did the big idea come from in all of this? Tell us a little the, bit. The, like, the go story, right back the, to the, the start. The story I told is, is actually true. I was inspired by my little godchild. Right. So and his did... mom hated it. And she just t took her iPad and put it in front of him and showed him little brushing clips. Mm -hmm. But that didn't really work out. So it got him to the bathroom, but he was never moving the toothbrush. <laughs> so I saw it a couple of times, and then we thought if the two things were connected, you could really get him to brush. And what did the test show you with the kids? How, how did they respond? The feedback is really good. Obviously, we are, we are not there where we want to be, but they, they love it. They are using it, and we got a lot of brilliant feedback to make it even better. So the, the games we have at the moment are perfect from 6 to 11, and now the second game where you just saw a sneak preview is for younger kids, because we got a lot of parents from emails where the little brothers and sisters also want to play it but the game was too difficult. So now the second game is for younger kids and then there should be five or six games at Christmas. Paul, thank you very much. I mean, I love it. The business is called U Toothier. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks very much, Paul and Playbrush.